My name is Donate Wegon and I will answer your questions about mutations. Mutations are changes in the genomic DNA sequence, which can therefore occur in almost all cells of the body. They are the result of biochemical damage to the DNA molecule that does not get repaired. There are different causes of DNA damage, so-called mutagens. Examples of mutagens are ultraviolet irradiation and chemicals in tobacco smoke. Other mutagens arise naturally from biochemical processes taking place within our cells, like for example errors made during DNA replication. Damage and repair occur randomly across the DNA. Depending on the mutational processes that are active in the cell, some mutation types occur more often than others, and their intensity may also vary along the genome. For example, in cancer tumors, genes that are turned on have on average lower mutation rates than genes that are silenced. However, still all mutations are random. For many mutational processes, we know the biochemical modifications of the DNA that lead to the mutations. However, where exactly in the genome such a modification will take place is a stochastic event and we can therefore only describe it in terms of its probability. In other words, we can estimate how likely it is that a given site in the genome will mutate, but we cannot say it for sure. As we heard, many mutational processes are influenced by the environment. This includes some processes that depend on the amounts of certain molecules in our cells. Psychological stress, for example, influences neurochemical, hormonal and immunological functioning which are processes that can also cause cellular stress and therefore DNA damage. There are many examples of environmental exposure that have to do with habits. In addition to the mutagens we already mentioned, like UV light and tobacco smoke, it was recently found that there may exist a mutational process associated with the consumption of red meat, which may be one of the factors driving colorectal cancer. Other examples include a mutagen that has been associated with the consumption of certain birthward plants, which is common in traditional Eastern medicine and can cause liver cancer. Generally speaking, mutations are rare events. For example, a newborn will have around 100 mutations that neither mom nor dad had in their genomes. However, only about one of these mutations will fall on one of the around 20,000 protein coding genes which are the most important regions in the human genome. These mutations were caused in the parental egg and sperm cells, and we call them germline mutations. In cancer, mutations arise in the rest of the cells of our bodies and often at higher rates than in the germline. Certain mutational processes occur in all cell types, and so these could be called the most common. However, some cancers are dominated by mutations from other processes, for example, those caused by UV irradiation in skin cancers. When the DNA repair machinery of our cells is not working well, unrepaired DNA damage can cause many mutations. From experimental studies and cancer data analysis, we know that, for example, when some of the most important DNA repair mechanisms are broken in the cell, this causes up to four times as many mutations as normally. We can define the impact of a mutation by what biological change it causes. Among impactful mutations on protein coding genes in the human germline, at least 80% are detectably harmful. These mutations can cause diseases or otherwise reduce the fitness of the person who carries the mutation. On the other hand, mutations are the substrate of adaptation to changes in the environment, as described by Charles Darwin. Adaptation is a continuous process and it is driven by the occasional mutations that provide a fitness advantage. For example, the ability to digest lactose as an adult is ascribed to mutations that provided a direct advantage to European farmers. Detection of such adaptive mutations from DNA sequencing data is, however, more complicated. In summary, we can say that in the human germline there are much more harmful or negative than beneficial or positive mutations because we are very complex organisms and relatively well adapted to our environment. The next topic of Ask CRG will decipher the meaning of the name of our center, Genomic Regulation, which is all about the expression of genes. So, send us your questions.